Hey everybody, okay, so today I'm going to make a video about um, body weight, body issues, and all that that goes along with being a teenager or even an adult can struggle with it. Um, this subject is so, so touchy in my eyes, where some people could care less. But to me, it's a huge deal, and I've been trying to make this video for so long, yet I keep not wording what I want right. So however this video turns out, it might not be perfect, I might not explain everything I want to, but um, hopefully you'll get the key points and what I'm trying to um, say and everything and that everyone is beautiful for no matter what size they are and that's the key point is what I'm trying to make um I do um hmm what's the right word I do contradict myself quite a bit because that's just me I'm kind of whatever you know so it only makes sense in my mind but it may not make sense in your mind so keep that in mind. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hey everybody, okay, so I'm gonna start um, discussing this huge topic that has been the biggest controversy, whatever you want to call it, biggest topic right now and it keeps getting more and more and more popular of a subject to talk about and it really shouldn't be talked about this much and in such a negative way which is weight <laughs> and how you look and how skinny you are and how beautiful you are determines how thin you are and that's a bunch of bullcrap um you can be big and be beautiful you are beautiful at any size you don't have to be a size zero to be considered beautiful. You don't need to be a size 1, 2, or whatever size you are to be determined beautiful. And the weirdest thing right now that is going on, um, they actually lowered like the number to be a plus size model, which really in my eyes, they shouldn't be called a plus size model. They should be called a normal healthy model. But a si if you are above a size 6 right now, that is determined that you are si could be a plus size model and that is so wrong you look at these people and you would be like what they look healthy they look normal they just don't look skin and bones it really bothers me because that is forcing a very 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 unhealthy um unhealthy image in the minds of girls that are growing up with this look that they feel like they have to be to be considered beautiful and that's all they are seeing and I don't understand why that have developed but back in the day it has never been that way and we used to look up to people that were bigger and healthy um, Madonna Christina Aguilera she she struggled with her weight her whole entire life, but she has gotten very thin, but she's also gotten pretty big herself, and to be honest, I like her bigger because she's healthy and happy that way. She doesn't have to starve for that perfection that people think is beauty when it's not. If you're naturally thin, that's fine, you know? Whatever <laughs> naturally you are, that's great because you don't have to be unhealthy to be that image. But there's so many people that their body wants to be at maybe 150 or whatever. And that would be determined not beautiful in so many people's eyes. And that is so, so wrong in my eyes. And don't get me started on that topic because that just bothers me with the such negative outlook on it. And if you are anywhere higher than a size 6, you just get made fun of and they discriminate against them or what they call the fat people or the unhealthy people they feel as if you are if you are fat or bigger or whatever they call them that you're unhealthy and that is not true um there can be very very thin people that are very 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 unhealthy 
that doesn't always mean that. I mean, that could play a part in it, but still. And also, I'm sorry guys, I'm looking down at a piece of paper. <laughs> um, I have struggled with this in my life, um, where people would have made comments about, oh, you're always eating when I come over. Oh, you're always um, doing this, or you're always doing that. Oh, don't you ever get off that couch? Um, don't you ever do anything active? Uh, don't you want to, you know, not eat that extra cookie? Well, <laughs> I got that up until I was nine years old, and then I was done with it. And that's what encouraged me to starve myself. And I did. And then I got comments like, Oh my god, you're too thin. Oh my god. So, you know what? I'm never going to be perfect enough for anybody. Um, whatever size I'm at, somebody's going to find something to be mean about. And I have realized that now. If I'm too thin, too big, whatever size I'm at, I'm going to be made fun of. No matter what. Even if it's not about my size, then they'll find something else to pick on. And I have learned that. And so, I just... I just gotta recover and not starve myself again and just realize that I am beautiful the way I am and the size that I naturally want to be at is a size 1, 2, or 3, 4. It depends on the clothing because I might be a 1, 2, or a 3, 4 in the juniors department or I sometimes might be a 5, 6. It all depends on the clothing but um, shirts, I wear a size small, yet people still don't find me as thin as I was when I was starving myself. But you know what? That's a good thing. Because now I'm healthy, and I'm at a healthy weight, and I have muscle, and I can actually dance without passing out. So, that's a good thing. So, those are just some topics and whatever just that bother me to no end and I still will get comments saying oh you'd look prettier if you were you know thinner and stuff like that and honestly I don't understand that comment <laughs> because I mean a 1, 2 or a 3, 4 is considered small yet I get still these mean comments just because I am not skin and bones anymore I actually have, you know, whatever on me. I'm actually, I don't know, a f I actually have a figure now. And I'm not just skin and bones and starving myself. I'm actually a healthy weight and, like, I don't know. I'm, no one's ever going to be happy with the way I am. And so what I do now is I'm going to make myself happy. And if I'm happy by eating 10 cookies... It's not good to do that, but if one day I really want to eat 10 cookies, I'm going to go ahead and eat them. And if you feel like you need to eat 10 cookies, go ahead and eat them. Because, trust me, if you deny yourself, it'll just make things 10 times worse. And it just, every time I do try to deny myself, I will go into an eating disorder. And that is why I don't deny myself anymore. And I eat healthy, and I exercise. And I take care of my body that God gave me. God gave me this body not to starve and not to feel as if it was perfect, but to just take care of and try to keep it healthy and try to keep me happy. And I shouldn't starve my body or anything like that. So it really, really bothers me, um, that topic. That topic is huge and dance or if you're in the public eye at all if you're on YouTube or anything like that that is like the number one thing they will make fun of you for and of course your facial beauty that's another thing they will definitely make fun of you for and the way you speak they will make fun of that and so but the biggest thing that I've seen on YouTube is the number one thing that they will make fun of is your weight because they feel that you are less of a person if you are not a zero or if you're not thin enough and that is bullcrap. You can be whatever size you are. Let's say you're a size 14 or 16 or whatever size you are. You are absolutely drop dead gorgeous in whatever size you are and do not let anybody else tell you that you are not. You are beautiful in whatever, whatever size you are. 
don't let this media and this world try to transform your mind into thinking the only kind of beauty is in thin and not everybody thinks that way some I know so many wonderful people that think the bigger the better and you know having some healthy fat on you is wonderful because you're healthy then I mean just having a curvy figure is gorgeous but those are some people and there's not too many people like that anymore and most people are thinking that's disgusting now and that they would be disgusting and repulsive if they gained anything at all and so they have to stay at a size zero or a hundred or less um, many many people don't want to get into the three digit area where that's like a huge no-no and it's just <laughs> completely crazy because you need to be in a th three digit number if you are a teenager and you are a certain height um, uh, which is again um, if you're at a weight, let's say you're 125 and you're 5'4", that might not be the right weight for a person that is 6'2". They, they look extremely small, but a person 5'4 would look healthy in that weight. Or, although being 5'4 and 125, that's still really tiny. So, I mean, that's just how I feel. <laughs> and so, once again, um... I really can't describe everything in one thing, but one thing that I do want to let out really quick is that I am recovering very, very well. Just to let you guys know, as a little update, I am recovering, and I am working on it so much every day, so thank you guys for all of your support. It really means a lot to me, and um, hearing all your wonderful comments and everything really, really helps me and pushes me through all the bad thoughts in my mind, um, because... I deep down I love myself and you should love yourself but it's just that other half of my brain that tells me you know you're not beautiful enough you need to be thinner but I can push that side off now and um, I really am proud of myself for doing that and being able to do it on my own um, mostly on my own <laughs> uh, sort of on my own <laughs> but um, okay guys so Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope it helped you feel um, that you guys are beautiful, no matter what size you are. And um, I know I've said that like 20 times in this video, but I cannot stress it enough that you have to be happy with the size you're in and you have to love yourself for the size that you are. And if you are one of those naturally skinny people, please don't make fun of people that actually have weight problems because it is hard when you have um, that... I haven't actually dealt with that personally where I'd have to like lose weight, but it would be more, I've had a lot of friends that have had that problem where they would try to lose weight and stuff and then because people would make fun of them. But first off, you're not going to lose weight by hating yourself at first because that's not going to get you really where you want to be. You want to love yourself and if you want to lose weight, if you, let's say, are a little bit overweight and you want to just lose a little weight to be healthy. First off, you have to love yourself. And then just do it as a healthy lifestyle. Don't think of it as a diet. Just think of it as a healthy lifestyle, living and going out and just exercising a bit more and whatever. But don't do it for anybody else. Don't do it to look beautiful or beautiful -er. <laughs> That's a funny word. Um, but don't do it for that reason. But you can be 500 pounds and be absolutely gorgeous. So... You're gorgeous at whatever weight you are. First of all, before losing weight, though, you have to be happy with yourself, is what I'm saying. Um, I'm not encouraging unhealthy habits. I'm just saying be happy with yourself, and no one should make fun of you for the weight you are at. <laughs> so, uh, sorry for this very long video in detail, but I really, really wanted to make a video on this, so I am going to upload it this time. I've tried to make this video millions of times, but I can never feel like I could get it right. So, here we go. And, um, one last thing that I want to say is that I want to be a positive role model. And that's what helps me, um, get, like, push through eating disorder thoughts and everything. Is to know that I have, ch like, children that watch me. And I also have teenagers that watch me. And I want to be a really good role model to them. Um, and show that you don't need to be, like 
bones and like brittle and weak and tiny and just really thin <laughs> to be beautiful. I want to show them that you can have a full figure and still love yourself and just block out all the media and the bad thoughts that are trying to tell you otherwise. And so that's why, that's what encourages me right now to stay a size, you know, 2 or a size 4 and not go lower for society to think of me as beautiful. Um, I'm going to stay the size I am and I'm not going to care what anyone thinks because I want to be a positive role model for all the young kids that watch me and for all the, even the older kids that watch me or whatever. I just really want to be a positive role model and have a positive body image for people to see and not just sticks and bones or skin and bones, whatever you want to call it. Bye guys!